Labrum was designed to help you master your aromatherapy blending, to help give you analytical data and results based on the blends you make as well as soft analysis. So the main feature of Labaroma is actually making a blend. So I'm going to take you through step by step how to do that. So you go to your homepage and you simply select make a new blend. And the first thing Labaroma will prompt you to do is to name your blend. Today I'm going to make an immune massage oil. So I'm simply going to name it up here. And I'm going to look at my database, which is on the left hand side. So this database contains nearly 400 ingredients from essential oils, vegetable oils, herbal and other ingredients. And also populated in here will be any essential oils that you have added yourself by inputting your own GCs. And you can do that on add my own oil feature, which you can find on the home page. You also will have your favourites in this little star box. So favourites are ingredients or oils that you have found while you're working on Agroma that you either particularly liked and you wanted to be able to find very quickly again or maybe you have stored your own oils either. How you store an oil and make it a favourite is by simply hovering over any of the circles and you can store it and it will automatically appear here. And if it isn't your favourite after some time you simply unstar it and it will go back to being in a normal ingredient within the database. So every essential oil within an aroma as well as vegetable and herbal ingredient have an information sheet. If you hover over any of the oils, you will find the information sheets. In this blend, I'm going to use Calomel German. So we'll look at the information sheet for it. Calomel German simply gives you, the information sheet gives you a breakdown of the ingredient. The essential oils tend to have a more detailed information sheet simply because there is more chemical information with them than, for example, the carrier oils. So you get all of this basic data on the oil. You get some guidance on safety. You get a profile and therapeutic properties, as well as the entire chemical breakdown in terms of the chemical groups and the chemical components. And if you need a refresher while looking at one of these, and you can't exactly remember what, it, what uh, oxoid is, for example, you simply click on this link and it'll give you a pop-up with a reminder of what that chemical family does and how it behaves. We also give you a little synopsis of some of the, the most common chemical components and their therapeutic function. So if you hover down, you'll find that there'll be some little pop-up. And if these information sheets prove useful, you can print them. The information sheets will always open in a separate tab, so you won't lose the blend that you've been creating. So you can keep them here and go back and forth as often as you need. So I'm going to use this Calamine German. I'm also going to use for Gonea. And as you can see, I can search for my ingredients in multiple ways. I can literally search for them along the top by typing their name. I can put this back to all and search the entire database again. I can narrow my search by selecting essential oils. This means that the database will only search for essential oils or I can go just to vegetable oils. I'm also going to use rosemary in this blend and you'll see here that rosemary, we have a few samples of rosemary in here, we have three. So if you ever see a duplicate of an essential oil in Labaroma, it's because the chemistry of that plant or the few different plants have been so distinctly different that it warrants having multiple types of that essential oil in the database. In this case, rosemary is that. So normally it's if there's multiple chemo types within that essential oil or if simply because of their origin and the geography of where they're grown, the chemistry is so different, it is worth having them in there in different, um, the same plant in a different region. So I'm going to put thyme in this blend as well because I want the thyme oil. So I'm going to use thyme, thyme oil. And I want it in here for the thyme um, component because of its anti-infectious and immune supportive qualities. So I also want to use a lavender because I want to use a high quantity of linalool acetate for its soothing and its immune supportive and its anti-inflammatory properties also. Now, if I wasn't sure which lavender I want to use, because you can see I have a few, I can use a component search to do that. So instead of me looking at every information sheet of the lavender and checking which has the highest quantity of linalool acetate, I can simply go up here and I can go to the component research. So open a second, ta second tab and go to component search. And in here, I'm going to search for, I want greater than or equal to, and I'm going to go with 40% linalool acetate. And as I start to type the component, Labaroma will predict what I'm going to type and it'll help me by giving me a drop down of the component stored within the database. This component research is brilliant if you know what kind of 
what type of components you want as opposed to essential oils. So if you know the componentry you want, lab and you set in the perimeters here, lab Roma will tell you which essential oil contains what you need. But be warned, if you make a very restricted search, lab Roma will give you less options. So you hit submit when you know what you want. And I have just been told that I have six essential oils that contain either 40% or more than 40% of linalool acetate. I'm going to choose a lavender. I have two lavenders and I'm going to choose the one that has the highest quantity of linalool acetate. So my lavender from India has got 42.35%. And if I go back, I can see that my lavender, which is French, has got 42.3. So I'm going to use my Indian lavender. So I simply go back to my blending tool and I take my Indian lavender and I drag it over. Now, I'm ready to make my essential oil blend element. So I'm going to choose my default metric as percentage here. You can choose mils, drops, ounces or grams. And I'm going to just put my percentages in. So I know I need 10% of caramel jelly, 20 of Bergonia for its respiratory support qualities, 20 of palm rosa, and then 10 of rosemary, 10 is loads of thymol. And I'm going to take 30 of my lavender. Now just as an example, if I typed in 40, Lab Aroma is going to recognize that I, can't, I counted incorrectly and I have 10% too much and it won't let me proceed. I'm going to take this back down to 30. And if I was only making essential oils in this blend, that's fine. I can continue adding as many circles as I want. There's no limit to the amount of ingredients that you can have. And if you make a mistake and you want to start again, you simply hit start again and this will clean your deck. If you are ready to just calculate, you hit calculate. However, because I'm making a massage blend, I want to put a base in. So I'm going to go to base and I'm going to choose something quite simple. So I'll probably go with an apricot oil. And I will just show you an example of one of the information sheets for the carry oils. It gives you the basic information, it gives you therapeutic properties, and it gives you the saturated fatty acid breakdown, which is quite useful as well. So I'm going to go back to my blend, which is always still here and not moving. And I can have a default. So I'm going to have mills here. However, let's say hypothetically we wanted to make this into a, a balm and we wanted to add beeswax. So I'm just going to search my bees and I have beeswax. So if I wanted to make this into a 100 ml blend, but I want this to be grams, I can change this here. So even though my default is milliliters, I can still make specific changes within every ingredient. So I'm going to put five grams in here just to show you. And this, the Lab Aroma algorithms are intelligent enough that they will do the full calculation for you. I don't want beeswax, so I'm going to drag it back into the left. I'm going to put this back to zero, and Lab Aroma is reset. So when I'm ready, I'm going to tell Lab Aroma that I want my blend to be 2% of essential oil, so I want 100 mils of my apricot oil and I want my essential oil totally percentage to be 2% within this blend. And when I'm happy, I select calculate. And if you scroll down, Lab Roma will give you a series of results. So firstly, it gives you your essential oil blend, then your base, then it gives you the allocation. So I had said 2% essential oil, therefore 98% base blend. And we have done the math for you. So we have defaulted to drops here. So don't worry about the apricot oil, we'll come back to it. So we have told you exactly how many drops you need based on the percentages you chose over here. So you don't have to do that mathematical equation. But if you want to change and see what your percentages or your milliliters are, they also tell you what they are here. So then you continue to go down and you gain all the insights into how your blend is performing. So this is a chemical breakdown of the groups, the chemical families in your blend. So as you can see, your monoterpenols, your monophenols, or in the highest percentage, esters are closely followed. And again, if you can't exactly remember what an ester does, you click on it, it will give you a reminder of what it does and some examples of the chemical components within it and some of the essential oils that are represented by it. We also give you an example of a component with a visual. So then you scroll down and you get a complete list of the chemical components within your blend. There's two packages in Labroma. There's Labroma Learn and Labroma Plus. The only difference is that Labroma Plus gives you warnings whenever your, chemi your chemical components have broken in international pharmaceutical laws. And this is how you know. This warning will flag up 
but they also tell you in Lab Roma Plus which of the essential oils in your blend is having that effect on the blend and on the law. So for example, if we're going to get Pan Rosa and Thyme Thyme oil are too high here, they're going to break the, the regulations. But we also tell you how they break their regulations and what the law allows for those components. So this is very insightful and it gives you the knowledge to go back and edit your blend. So the first thing I would say in this case is reduce your essential oil quantity from 1% pardon from two percent maybe down to half a percent but if you're not blending for um retail and for selling products on the market labroma plus is not necessary so Lab labroma learn is fully sufficient for you then we give you soft analysis so we give you a breakdown of the scent note so as you can see from this blend this blend is definitely a top middle note palm rosa gives a representation of middle note and calomel german gives a representation of base note but because four of your essential oils are top middles, your blend is going to be a very top middle scented blend. Then we give you two sets of analysis. We give you an indication as to how your blend has affected the physical body and the psychological body. And how we do that is we will allocate every essential oil to your body. So for example, we rank it from one to three. So if an essential oil, like in this case, thyme, thyme oil, has been given three points towards immune infectious, we have decided that thyme thyme oil has a, a very strong effect on the immune system. We have decided that because we have given two points to all of the rest of these essential oils, they have a considerable effect on that system. And if we give ones like we have here for thyme thyme oil, we are saying that it has a, a mild but still a very valid effect on the muscular skeletal system. And then we go further down. And as you can see, the further you go along, the less likely these systems are going to be affected by your blend. So we actually have done very well here because immune infectious is the first, is the most, the blend that we have affected most. Now this ranking is based on our team's, our aromatherapy team's clinical experience, um, both in work and through education. The same principles applied here. We apply ranking from one to three, three being from the strongest effect, one to the mildest for every essential oil against the, the mind and we consider four different emotions balancing, energizing, calming, meditative and sensual. So this blend is going to be balancing, it's going to be considerably energizing but mildly calming. So it's quite a good immune infectious blend. If you decided that for example here you wanted skin to rank higher then you would go back to the blend and you would increase your volumes of calomel German, palm rosa and your lavender also and this will bring your skin up and bring your other systems down. When you're happy with your blend, you simply add notes. These notes can be anything at all that you like. So I'm going to say in this one, choose lavender, India, always. And that's because the linalol, um, linalol acetate quantity that I wanted for this blend. When you're ready, you can print your blend. You can save it as a PDF. You can save to my blends and you can cost my blend. So I'm going to cost my blend first. And I'm going to make 10 mils of this. I want it actually as a roller blend. So I'm going to choose my mils. I'm going to make 10 mils. And then I'm going to choose the currency I want. So you can choose between US dollars, sterling, euro, Canadian dollars and Australian dollars. I'm going to stick with USA. And I calculate the cost. So if I wanted to make 10 mils of this blend for a roller blend it's going to cost me 17.97 in US dollars and that cost is a guide it's based on the cost of all of our ingredients provided to us by our suppliers who we work with so 17.97 is your guide price when you're happy you save to my blends and you simply click here Labroom will automatically take you back to your blends and you will see I have lots of them so if you scroll down I will find my blend and I can view it I can delete it it's all there nothing has moved. I can save it as a PDF and it will appear fully as I had it before in all of, with all my analytic data. And that is how you blend on Labaroma.